Hi everyone, so today we are going to fix this JMeter issue that we face when we try to run JMeter within our M1 Mac. So the first thing that we need to do is open up a terminal and install JMeter using Brew Package Manager. So what we need to do is Brew install JMeter. So for this you will need Brew Package Manager. So if you don't have it, please install it first and then it should take a couple of minutes and or oh no, uh, it just took a couple of seconds and we have installed JMeter. Now the problem is, if we try to just run JMeter command and hit enter, we naturally expect to see JMeter working perfectly. That's what we expect. But the thing is, for some reason, although we expect that command to run naturally and give us the JMeter GUI to work with, we get this error instead. So this error is related to Java JDK and I don't also know what root cause is causing this problem but let's try to fix this. So the way to fix this is we need to install the Coretto JDK from Amazon. So brew install Coretto. So make sure you have uh, double R's and double T's. So we hit enter and it, sh it may ask you for your M1 password so please uh, input it and complete the installation. So I'll be back once this is completed. Okay, so you have installed Coretto JDK on our Mac, M M1 Mac now. And what we need to do now is configure this new JDK installation to be used by the JMeter. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to find out where we have installed our JMeter. So for the, to do that, let's run brew info JMeter. And this will give us the information about our JMeter installation that we have done using Brew. So you can see this folder directory is given to us. So to open this directory using Finder, we need to copy this and then put the command open space and then the directory that we have copied, which contains the JMeter installation, and then at the end append slash bin. So this will open the binary directory of the JMeter installation. Okay, so you have the directory opened and now what you want to do is open this binary, this JMeter binary using a text editor. I have installed Sublime as my text editor. So I'm going to drag this JMeter binary into Sublime which should open that JMeter executable within Sublime as a text file. So what you need to do is, in order to configure the Coretto Amazon JDK that we have installed earlier, we need to copy this line and paste it inside the JMeter binary file that we have opened as a text file. And then you can just delete this old Java home configuration. What we have done is, we have told the JMeter binary executable to point to our newly installed JDK uh, that is the Amazon Coretto 21 JDK. So now whenever we run the JMeter command within our terminal, it will use this Java home instead of the earlier open JDK Java home that I had installed. So what now we need to do is save this text file. So now let's uh, control save this and it will ask for your Mac password. So enter your password and that should update the JMeter binary executable within your system. So I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see we have updated our JMeter binary executable file and now if you go into your terminal and put the same command that failed earlier, JMeter and hit enter, now this JMeter should launch perfectly. So now what is happening is it's using the Coretto JDK instead and now everything works as you expect when you install JMeter. So it's a bit of a tricky workaround to fix this issue. So until this issue has issue will be fixed to support the Mac OS uh, later Sonoma and uh, Mac M1, I think we have to follow this approach to get the JMeter running. So I hope you help. Uh, I hope it helped you. And if it did, please comment your experience with this issue and were you able to fix it using my workaround? And actually, I got the workaround from GitHub as well. So I'm ha I have to give credit to the original uh, person that came up with this. Uh, solution so here you can see uh, thanks a lot so most of you experience issues 
getting this uh, fixed to support the JMeter single command. So you just run JMeter and to be able to run it. So I hope I helped you in that regard and thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing this sort of uh, technical support and tutorials via this channel. So thanks a lot. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and until next one. See you.